Have you ever wondered where satellite imagery comes from? And if you wanted to purchase it, where would you go and what organizations you would look up? Today, we're diving into the world of how we obtain detailed images of Earth from space. And we're going to look at the commercial satellite providers that take them. These providers operate satellites that circle the Earth, capturing detailed images on a daily basis. And they offer a closer look at our world at a more updated look than what you might find on freely available satellite imagery. These images can assist us in things such as urban planning, environmental monitoring, human rights monitoring, investigative journalism, and providing valuable insights and information about our planet and its diverse environments. So in this session, we're going to take a closer look at some of the leading commercial satellite providers like Maxar, Airbus, Planet Labs, and also the third party services that sell them. So whether you're interested in science, satellite imagery, or just finding cool things on the Earth's surface, this video is for you. Hi everyone, and welcome back to this series on how to do open source investigations from home. I'm Ben, and this is part 23, so let's get started. First up, we're going to start with Maxar, which is one of the biggest and most well-known providers of high-resolution satellite imagery. You might know Maxar from some of the news events in the past, where they provided detailed images of conflicts, human rights abuses, interesting things, and also wide-scale damage caused by environmental patterns around the world. And if you go to their news and events page, you can see many of the images that have been provided by Maxar showing some of the overview of things that have happened around the world, like these destroyed buildings on the coastline in Japan. On Maxar's website, they have a really interesting section where you can go through their products and services and you can search for imagery. This is a way that you can independently purchase imagery. So for example, if I wanted to purchase an image from Certe, I could merely select that area and have a look at some of the imagery that might exist. As you can see, there's a fair bit and it's fairly updated as well. This is a really great way to view some of the imagery before you might want to consider reaching out and trying to purchase independent shots from Maxar. One of the other interesting aspects from Maxar is their open data program. This is a really great approach that Maxar has provided in having a look at providing freely available satellite imagery for major crisis events around the world. It allows us to see, for example, environmental disasters or events that have happened around the world and we can actually access some of the independent satellite runs or chips as they're referred to of some of these satellite incidents. For example, we can have a look at the Libya floods and we can have a look at the pre-event and post-event satellite imagery which is freely available to download there. What's useful is that this downloads a TIFF file which is a file that you can open up on any satellite browser that you use. That might be Google Earth, or you can also open it up in platforms like QGIS or ArcGIS. For example, here is satellite imagery uh, provided by Maxar's Open Data Program of the damage caused by the flooding in Derna, Libya, that was so widely reported in the news and also allows a huge amount of beneficial research and documentation as to the aspects of that flood, the result of that flood, and any mitigations for future flooding that could be done in that area. Moving on to the next platform, we have Planet Satellite Imagery. Planet has two types of data, so it has very high resolution data, but then also data that is not as clear, but is more updated. So it provides satellite imagery that might look like Maxar's in terms of clarity, but then it also provides more frequently updated data that might not be as clear as well. So you have Planet Scope and SkySat images. What's interesting about Planet is that when you go through the website and often you'll have to provide your email address and other details in order to access these, but there's a large amount of educational resources on using satellite imagery for geospatial analysis on the Planet website. It's called a Planet School or a Planet University, and it's a fascinating uh, set of products 
with a wide amount of future uses as well as current and contemporary and previous uses of satellite imagery to really keep those skills sharp that you're working on if you're in the industry. You can also see the content library as well, which shows some of the more recent products in satellite imagery, as well as some of the other skills that you might be able to pick up. To give you an example of planet satellite imagery, I have this image that uh, I posted quite some time ago on my Twitter account. You might actually notice I post regular high resolution satellite imagery from planet on my Twitter account, as well as part of my human rights work that I regularly do to monitor some of these areas and monitor when events occur in grounds. For example, this satellite shot of El Janina in Sudan's Darfur region on April 28, which showed numerous burn patterns on the ground after clashes between militia fighters and other forces in the area. The next big satellite provider and one that you might be familiar with from a lot of the Google Earth imagery similar to Maxar is also Airbus. Airbus you might be familiar with for its airplanes but it also provides satellite imagery as well and has regular satellite runs around the world. Airbus do have a media center and they showcase some images from around the world. For example we have quite a high resolution image of the Dubai Air Show from 2023 as seen from one of their satellites and that detail really shows up there in terms of being able to identify some of the aircraft on the ground and what they look like from above as well and you could probably match this with a lot of the photos and videos that were taken on the ground to even get measurements of some of these new types of aircraft and get an understanding and cross-reference point to see what they look like from space as well. So I've shown you some of the top commercial satellite providers. I won't go into any pricings or details with the packages that they offer, as many of these change depending on the size of an organization and other things that would be included in those contracts. However, what would you do if you wanted to purchase a satellite image from one of these providers? Well, there are independent third-party resellers of satellite imagery. For example, one of these is SkyFi. So how do you order from people like this? Well, if you simply click order now, and I'm going to give you an example of how you can order imagery from an area called Baga in Nigeria's northeast. So when searching for this specific area, I'm able to search for the town one kilometer squared, but maybe I'll make that a little bit bigger. I can draw a rectangle and you can see the imagery that pops up on the left here. And if I zoom out a bit more, you can see the tiles that I would be purchasing. So you can purchase planet imagery and it will allow you to see the imagery that you might purchase but then you have other imagery available here and you can order images through this platform and it allows you to both use them and purchase them or you can obviously use them in another platform as well if you like after purchasing that. There's also a similar provider called Apollo Mapping and this allows you to search from a very large satellite archive of commercial satellite providers. Similarly, we're going to have a look for Baga in Nigeria. I'm going to do the same style of wide search over the area and you can see some of the satellite tiles that have popped up. In my filters, we are able to see the data sets that we'd be looking for and this shows you the providers that they use. For example, we can see Maxar in there, Planet as well. Um, we can also see Geosat, Airbus is there and a number of others including Black Sky. Obviously the NASA content is there. Uh, we have ImageSat International which is another popular provider and many others that are easy to, to go through and easy to purchase through here. And we can simply select any of these platforms. We can have a look for them. So here is Worldview 1 which is a Maxar one. We also have Worldview 2 and I could submit for a quote to purchase that, that content and, and purchase that 50 centimeter resolution satellite imagery there as well. So this is a much easier way to purchase commercial satellite imagery. I must warn that satellite imagery isn't necessarily cheap and can sometimes be quite expensive with tiles ranging up into hundreds of dollars. However, you will get more of an accurate reflection on the pricing if you have a look at the area, the type of imagery 
and the data set you want to extract as well as the size of it. Each of these organizations has unique offerings and they offer different satellite capabilities and obviously various services to cater to a range of user needs for satellite imagery specialists and those wanting to look a little bit closer at the Earth's surface. We've explored companies like Maxar, Airbus and Planet Labs that operate satellites to capture detailed imagery of the Earth's surface and really help us discover a little bit more about it. I hope that this overview has provided you with a clearer understanding of commercial satellite providers and the significant work that they do in observing and analyzing our planet and allowing us to use that imagery. Thank you so much for joining me on this session or explainer on commercial satellite imagery. If you have any questions or topics you'd like me to cover in future videos, please drop a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay updated on more topics like this one. And I'll see you in the next session.